Hey everyone, we got a special package in the post today, uh, so I thought we'd open it up with Jasmine and see what it is. Okay. You want to start? Yeah. So there's a nice uh, plastic box. Mm. What's the first thing you notice? Harry Bow! We got some Harry Bow! Yay! Super nice. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one, uh, this will tell you who it's from. So, who, what's this company name? You see that one? If I hold it up the camera. It's from Protopic. They've sent us a whole load of stuff to kind of review and start having a look at. So this is just our kind of unboxing. Uh, so that is a circuit board for prototyping. So you can attach it to the micro bit and then design your own circuits on it by soldering them into those bits. So it's make, for making your own kind of um, hardware for the micro bit. Uh, do you want the next one? So we've got a little Perspex piece battery. and a little battery bit. So this is a case with a, that screws onto the micro bit. You probably can't see the transparent in It's a transparent bit in here. It has two holes for the buttons and for the screen. And then the battery goes on the back. So it's like a micro bit case and battery all in one, which is really cool. Let's first try. Makes it much more compact and got that lead hanging around all the time. What's next? Um, bubble Can I open it up? So that's called, if you look at the back, the MicroPixel. Uh, and what it is, I think, uh, from what I've briefly read, um, is how many LEDs has it got? Um. Four by ten, I think. Mm, yeah. 40 LEDs, I think, from the looks of them, they're red, green, blue LEDs like we've been using for our Christmas tree. So you can set 40 of them to any colour you like, so you can write stuff across them and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and it has the kind of typical edge connector for the micro bit there that you can plug your micro bit in, so that we should pick it up and running on really quickly. Uh, and it screws over as well, I think. Maybe it screws over your micro bit as well. It might line up, I don't know. Or it's just for taking more power off, I guess, if you want to attach other stuff to it. At the bottom there, you can see it's got uh, more kind of holes for attaching ground and uh, the different pins. Was the next one? Oh, Go mad! Oops. Big this one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Christmas early. Okay, have a look. Ah, I think there's more than one thing in there. Yay! Oh so, no, it's oh, one it's big thing. One big thing. So I think, if I have a look, uh, it might nice actually colors. detach it as well. There we go. Ooh, so that is a, like a super breadboard, like we've got um, plugged into our micro bit, but it's much better, because all the pins, as well as um, from the micro bit, all the pins are individually broken out on really big connectors down the side, so you can connect other stuff. Um, and you've got your breadboard putting your components on, um, and then you've still got your bit at the top, the micro bit. <laughs> I'll throw the breadboard off. <laughs> uh, you've still got the top of the to the micro bit, but you've also got a separate power connector as well. Uh, so we can power, if you need more power um, that the micro bit can provide, you can use that. So that's pretty cool. Should be able to do all kinds of stuff with that. And lastly, which was actually clipped into the board a little bit, uh, this, uh, if you read what it says on there, did you see what it said? No. It says... Yeah. yeah. Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing. So it's actually all the things you need to build a um, UK pedestrian crossing for the green man and the flashing lights and all that kind of stuff. And we just have to figure out what code to write to make this all work. And you can see it's got uh, your normal traffic lights and then it's got your red man and green man lights over here. And it's even got a little tiny micro button and a wait light. Uh, so we've got to work out how to program that and do it in blocks make our own traffic light. So real massive thanks to Ewan at Protopic for sending us those and we'll be playing with them over the next couple of uh, weeks during Christmas and see what we can get up to and see if we can do some new projects using them. So thank you very much.